In this video, I'm going to talk about that ServiceNow AI. As you know that AI is very trending for all the application. Similarly, ServiceNow AI is also very trending model. So in this video, I'm going to talk about that ServiceNow AI. So what is the ServiceNow AI? Um, how it is being used into the ServiceNow platform? What are the places it is being used? And then how we can use that? So before we talk about all these things, um, let's talk about that um, uh, AI, we know what is the artificial intelligence, right? But what type of model service now using the AI? The first thing is the service now is using called generative AI. Okay. So now the question is that what is the generative AI? So generative, you probably heard about multiple places called generative AI. Now the question is what is the generative AI? So generative AI is basically something it can generate. The very simple example is called chat GPT you put some prompt or you uh, give some prompt based on the prompt, it generates something. For example, you ask in your chat GPT like, um, I want to generate a knowledge article based on these, these informations, right? Uh, or I want to write a code based on this, this information, it write down that, right? So it is a generative AI example. So similarly, in the service now, we can being used called generating the code. We can use the chat summarize. So it is generate. Yeah, either it's generate image, text, everything is generating. So we call the generative AI. So in the service now, the best use case is called incident uh, uh, summary. Okay, then we have a chat summary. Then it can generate the code. Even it can generate our uh, KB article. So it can generate KB. So this is all about generative AI. Now next thing is that we have a, another thing called agentic AI. So what is the agentic AI? So agentic AI is a beyond of this generative AI. So now what is the agentic AI? So agentic AI is something it can do some action. So not only it is generate um, um, some something, apart from that, it can do some action. So you provided some task based on the task, uh, it identify which uh, agentic AI should be picked up. And based on this agentic AI, it either, um, you know, create an incident, uh, you know, categorize and then close the incident or any actions like it can done that is called agentic AI. So not only generate, and just take an action. So let's say that best example is called, let's say that task categorize or task resolve, right? So you provide something based on that, it, um, you know, uh, not only generate, it take some action. Now, next question is that where this AI can be used, right? So this service now AI, where we can see this AI as a uh, end user or a, as a creator or as a developer, where we can see this uh, AI. So now as is a, a module, here we can see that uh, this AI. So there will be a dedicated uh, panel here. If you see here under this update, so there will be a dedicated panel. There you can see this now assist panel. There as an agent, you can see that in your platform, you can see this now assist and uh, there are many other places you can see this now assist and using the now assist you can use this service now ai apart from that there is a another thing called we call that ai search so using this ai search we can use this ai apart from that uh, we can we have the agentic ai using this agentic ai um you know we can use this uh ai so multiple places we can use this AI. So apart from that, we have a predictive intelligence. So using that predictive intelligence also, we can use this um, AI. So there are multiple places where we can use this AI. Now, next question is that from where we should start using this all AI or as a developer, from where you should start implementing or using this AI for that, what you can do that we can start with this now assist okay so if you go back here in your service time instance and under this admin you will be able to see one module called now assist admin from here you can start your ai implementation journey 
So you can go to this now assist admin um, this space. As you can see, it's saying that welcome to now assist admin and here it's your name. So from here, you can start your um, now assist um, journey. Now, generally, these now assist or these AI features cannot be used in your PDI. So you can use this um, AI implementation, your customer environment or in your customer demo environment or non-product environment. So you cannot practice in your uh, PDI environment, this uh, AI journey. So you have to take a demo instance, a customer demo instance or customer non-prod environment to practice or do, do all these things, the AI. Where we are actually starting, so we are using or we are actually using call now assist admin. So we are starting from now assist admin, this module. So module wise, we are starting call now assist admin and as i said that this cannot be used or this cannot be implement in your pdi you have to use the customer environment or the customer demo instance to um, implement or to play around that so for that what we can do we can go back here in our service now instance in this service now instance we have a now assist skill so for doing any kind of um, agent thing or ai thing the skill is a very important thing. So now as his skill is a very important. So we are going to use call skill. So skill is a very important factor here. So in this skill or in this now as his skill, you can see that there are multiple uh, module here, technology, customer, employee, creator, platform. So these are the, uh, you know, category, subcategory wise, you can see that. And if you go to this ITSM, none of the plugin are actually activated. So if you click this call get plugin, you will land to a another page ultimately in your uh, here. So you can see this, it's just switch to the settings page and then under it's go to the plugin section and here it have all these plugins, right? And as you can see that all these plugins, if you see this ITSM, if you click this get plugin, you will actually end up or landing to your, uh, you know, stored application you can see that install plugin you can click that it will go and then land to that store application so you have to be install the from the store as i said that or you if your customer is already um install that you can see under this install module you will be able to see that uh, this is what are the plugin are installed here so let me install this plugin and then let me come back to you so right now I have just installed a couple of plugins and as you can see that here, um, the in this home screen it is showing that how many uh, plugins are installed, the four plugins are installed, 24 plugins are not installed and if I click this uh, install plugin, you will be able to see that all these plugins that I have installed so far. So now as is creator, now as is uh, CMDB, ITSM, item, all these plugins are installed right now. Now, if I go back to this now as is skill, and if I go back to this ITSM module, you will be able to find out that multiple uh, skill are there and all some of the skills are automatically activated. So let me open that one of these. So as you can see that under this ITSM, there are multiple skills are there, um, around 13 skills are there. And some of the skills are already active. As you can see that these are the active. You can deactivate that or you can act activate that based on your requirement. And if you see in the top, it is showing that these skills are active out of box and using the now LLM services. Now you can deactivate, you can edit that. Let me show you that one of these features right now. So as you can see that incident summarization is activated, KV generation is activated. So now if I go back to this workspace and then go back to this service operation workspace here. So this is the service operation workspace. And if I go back to this list, and then if I click this all incident, and let me pick this incident. So as you can see that under this top, you can see that now as is can summarize this incident. So this incident has been created. And in this incident, if I click the summarize, uh, it will summarize that incident based on that whatever uh, is details has been mentioned. So if I click this summarize, it can go to this now assist, it can leverage that now assist skill and it can uh, create, uh, you know, show that summarization of this incident. 
So as you can see that it's showing on all the summarization, resolutions, service level agreement, whatever is mentioned here. Now, if I click this create knowledge article here, and as you can see that by default, uh, you know, uh, now Asis is prompting to draft a, uh, you know, draft a article. So it is prompting from now assist. And if you click this, yes, draft the article, now assist or using the AI, generative AI, it will draft a article. As you can see, problem, root cause, step to resolve, everything is mentioned here. So this way you can actually use these, uh, you know, um, generative AI uh, and start your now assist journey.